Let's start off with the books. Now you might be asking yourself, why do I have four copies of the Dragon Half manga? Well, this is probably what a lot of people will know first. This is the uh, Seven Seas edition that they put out most recently and it's translated into English, which is very cool and very nice. Uh, I don't think they're going to keep making this for too much longer, but I want to say that this came out like last year, something like that, maybe two years ago. And this is based off of, there's three of these. And uh, this corresponds to this edition of the Japanese release. These are the originals and then they came out with this three volume collection. As you can see. This is also what they used for the fan translations. This was uh, scanned, scanned in. Now these are the originals. A little bit bigger, <laughs> uh, as you can see. Not by much. But, but it does give a little bit more. So there are seven of these here. And then this is a little bit weird, but this is from Spain. There's eight of these. Dragon Half 2. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. And what's weird about these is that it starts off at chapter 21. Which is definitely not the beginning, but then this is issue number one, right? So like... Is there a, a zero? But as you can see, this is in Spanish. So yeah, I had to import this. But it is weird, like, I, I don't understand why it, uh... Why it only goes up to 8, but starts at chapter 21. But it does have some alternate uh, art to them, which is really cool. The art on the three bands are the pretty much the same across the uh, different versions. Here we got an egg cracking and hatching. And obviously the same thing for the English releases, right? These are a little bit like the material is a little bit different though. But same thing. And then the originals have slightly different artwork as well. This one's nice, I would like this one. This one we've seen before, but it was an on volume four. <laughs> Here we get the uh, general in the background, I think that is, or one of the androids. This is what Mita uses on his Twitter. And then we got the final volume. So that's all the manga. Now we have also these RPG books. I think these are like choose your own adventure style books. Because they do have some illustrations, but they're mostly written, written word type books. What was that illustration? We got like a map. So these are pretty cool. I don't know if it's like a Dungeons and Dragons type of thing or if it's more of a uh, like read and choose your own adventure, but there's three of them. This is the smallest one. And we got this one. Got some nice maps.
And then the final one, this is the fattest of them. My Japanese isn't good enough to actually read these, so. But it is cool to have. So yeah, so that's all the books. But not quite all of the printed material that I have. So this is Dragon Magazine. There's different editions to this, but there's a whole bunch of them. And usually they have some sort of, you know, interview style production advertisement section. And then they get into manga like this. And Dragon Half was serialized uh, in this. I may have went past it in this. Oh, here it is. <laughs> in this particular issue. Uh, so this is probably the largest scale edition of the manga that, that you can get, as you can find it in Dragon Magazine, but... Yeah, there's a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Uh, and they can get pretty expensive to import because usually they want you to buy like an entire set of them or sometimes they'll try and make one like particular issue like super duper expensive. There's a couple of... Uh... There's more dragon half. A couple of these have... Uh... Let me see if I can find one, but they have... Uh... Yeah, I've got some duplicates. <laughs> As you can see, these are both 12, but different coloring on the uh, on the title lets you know that it's a different like season. So this is 1992, and this is 1991. Got some Slayer. Here we go. Here's some some Dragon Half art. Yes, I have duplicates <laughs> of this one. Um, but usually it means that there's some sort of like full scale, sort of like spotlight sort of uh, episode or edition. I don't know what you call magazines. <laughs> uh, but this art is, is fantastic. Like, I haven't seen this particular mink image uh, outside of this uh, magazine. And then, of course, they get into some other stuff. Marauder. Battletech replay. These also come with, uh, or at least sometimes they do, they'll come with these posters. So this isn't Dragon Half related, but I do have a number of posters that come from this magazine that, uh, that I'll show you in a little bit. Let's see, this is 1991. But still, we got some Dragon Half right at the beginning. <laughs> There's another specific Dragon Half edition. Oh, I love this artwork right here of them in the car. That stuff's great. Hyper special number. <laughs> Look at that, that's great. The great stuff. This is when she got angry and she was starting to transform. Bouncing Pia around like a ball. Well, here we get some character synopsis. All the details on the page too, it's really well, like really nicely printed to be honest. If 
You can tell it's old though when you're handling it, you know? get into some other stuff and then back into your typical magazine with manga. And then here's actually Dragon Half. So yeah, I'd love to one day get these like, you know, take them off the binding and scan all of these into some sort of archive, digital archive. Um, but I need to get a full set first. I'm not sure how many come in a full set. You know? Like this is the 1991 set, but I don't know. Like it's a different band than some of the other 1991s. Like this is 1990. You can see it right up there. Where's this is uh, 91, April. I love this artwork though. I want to get this as a mouse pad, but I have to fix the stitching in here. Otherwise it looks kind of off. There's some Vena. Her dad, <laughs> the council. That looks more like the RPG, which I'll show in a little bit. I love these expressions, though, for Mink at the top. And then it's more, hey, record of Lodos War, I like that. I've always got these little things in here with like dragon money. <laughs> Turn this around. <laughs> So yeah, that's the uh, Dragon Magazine. I don't have full copies yet, but it's really cool that Dragon Half was serialized in these and that it's got these like unique posters and everything. That's almost all the printed media. So that's not Dragon Half, but cool game. <laughs> uh, so these are some cards that I got. I just have to unwrap them because I keep them in here. This is really cute. It shows like their stats. I've only got these three. So we got Vina. So we got Mink. And we got the whole party, but I think this is supposed to be Pia. So <laughs> these are super cute. I don't know why they exist, but here they are. And I'm sure there's more. Next up, I think this is related to the one of the RPGs that came out. Great artwork. Some more on the back. I believe this is like an explanation of the opening of the game. Perhaps of the Dragon Half sort of like universe. And we get these unique drawings. It's definitely a different style. And then some explanation about the game. Some details about uh, probably some of the attacks, a bunch of the cards and stuff that you're able to get, because I believe it's somewhat of a card game. This version. Kind of shows the attacking animations. It's 
sort of showing off the town. A friend of mine was uh, translating this. It's a lot to take on though. And telling you how you can get all the releases of everything. <laughs> that looks like we got a short comic. Four comics, in, in fact. Now, when you're dealing with uh, shipping stuff overseas, you sometimes will run into water damage, which is what happened to some of these posters I'm about to show you. So this one... Luckily I've been able to find again, but this is probably in the best condition. I mean, it's got some tears here at the top at the bottom, but most of it is still pretty much intact. A little bit of wear and tear here. Uh, obviously the back is kind of a nightmare. <laughs> Same thing with this one. It's just, uh, it just stuck together when I was trying to get it out of the packaging. And, so it just kind of gotten ruined. This one I have not been able to find again, which really sucks, but you can see it comes from Dragon Magazine. This one's also in pretty good condition, honestly, a little bit, you know, you can see the water damage there. The back is just like, oh God. And this one, yeah, the whole piece tore off. Luckily I have this one in a really good condition and already matted. I'll show you guys that later, but yeah, this one is in real bad condition. So yeah, be careful. Sometimes you're gonna get owned. But sometimes, as you can tell, this is the same one I was showing earlier, but this is the one that arrived in good condition. after I bought it again. So this one's great. Nothing wrong with this one. I still need to get it matted and get it thrown up with the other two. Cause it's in really good condition. So yeah, excited for this one. This one's really freaking cool. I really like this image too. She looks great. All right, now let's talk about the physical releases. Here we've got the laser discs. I love the artwork here. Laser discs are so big that it's just an excuse pretty much to, <laughs> to throw it on there. Yeah, these are great. At some point I'd like to hook these up to the retro tank and uh, rip them and see if they're any better than the current rips that exist, but they come with these nice, these nice graphics here. I get some handling instructions. <laughs> As you can see, the CD is uh, gigantic. It's a big ass CD. And it's pretty funny buying a Laserdisc player specifically so I could watch Dragon Half on Laserdisc with no subtitles. Because why would there be subtitles? But of course, you've also got to have Dragon Half on DVD. So this is the ADV release, pretty standard. Really low resolution DVD artwork on the cover, but what are you gonna do? Really basic, just sort of artwork inside. But this comes subbed and dubbed. Then we've got it on VHS. This is the uh, subbed version, I believe. Yeah, English subtitled. 
also from ADV. It's got the green VHS, which is great. Then you gotta have, now available in English, or a facsimile thereof, a reasonable facsimile thereof. <laughs> uh, pretty much the exact same stuff going on here as far as what's on here, but instead we are treated to a white VHS. Now let's talk video games. This is the PC-98 floppy disk RPG. Gigantic freaking box. You can see how much it cost back in the day. <laughs> and uh, we already went through the magazine that kind of came with this. We open it up into a smaller version of that, essentially, but it's different inside. Get some nice table of contents. Explaining who the characters are and stuff, I imagine. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> some sort of in-game mechanics. Well, some messages from the staff. That's nice. Look at that from the graphic designer. That's a great mink. Yeah, explaining the game. How do menus work and stuff like that. What do these mean? How do you control things? I love these icons. Yes and no. <laughs> uh, and then of course they come on floppy disks, so this thing precariously opens up and then you get all of these discuts. Quite a lot, to be honest. Here is the other game. This is uh, for the Super Graphics, the Super CD-ROM system for PC Engine. This is more of like, I want to say it's like a Mario Party style kind of game where you play as one of the three groups, like Minx groups, Venus group, or whatever. And then you sort of traverse the world though, trying to find like various stuff. This I just took off of the binding. There's the disc. Look at that, I have. 510, apparently. <laughs> Here we've got some story explanation. How do you control the game? I should translate this so I can know what the heck is happening in the game when I try playing it. <laughs> See, there's like power levels for when you're being attacked and stuff. Looks like some credits here. How to treat your disc. But solid excuse to go into the other two CDs that I happen to have. Let's go over this one first because I like the artwork. So this is the Game Sound Memorial. the disc how that looks we kind of already looked at the back but this is all from the game the micro cabin game that we were just kind of looking at you get a little sticker off the cover which is awesome and then uh, as you can imagine it's an instruction manual <laughs> you do get these nice uh, drawings though as far as explanation as to what happened. I believe, anyway. Here we have some nice artwork. A 
comical detective drama. Look how cute these drawings are. I want to say these are the voice actresses. Yeah. Great stuff. And then we've got the OST from the OVA, I want to say. I love this artwork on the disc, though. That shit is great. Super cute. Royal Science Academy. <laughs> an internal comic here. Some nice artwork. Just some information on the OVAs and the, like the video games and everything. Maybe even the books. Maybe that's the three books. But yeah, awesome CD. Especially this artwork. Gosh, she's just gorgeous. Next up, let's talk garage kits because I have a couple. So these are all Appendix Clubs ones, as you can kind of tell. Two of them are the same characters. I do have two Rufas, but then I have Mink and I have Pia's mom for some reason. Uh, that makes me think that there's actually a lot more of these than what I have or at least have been able to find available, but these are pretty cool. So we can get rid of one Rufa. So they typically come with a photo like this that kind of shows what it's supposed to look like when finished. And they come with an instruction manual. Usually pretty simple just to show you where everything connects. And then you get the actual kit. Just a nice unfinished kit. And so far it looks like everything in here is intact. Nothing is actually broken which is uh, the same on pretty much all of the kits I have. So it's awesome that they've been able to last in these conditions. So that's Rufa. Here we have Mink. Parts here. Then her actual body is kind of more. I don't have the original bag that it came in, but. Pretty nice looking, uh, honestly. A little bit of a scuff here on the inner leg where you're supposed to attach the tail. I think this needs to be broken off or it's like where it'll attach to like a base that I don't have. <laughs> and then let's take a look at Pia's mom. She comes a bit more complete as you can see. Her head's already attached and everything. Uh, but she also comes with a base, which none of the other ones do. So I don't know if I'm just missing those pieces or if that's just unique to how they decided to make Pia's mom. <laughs> uh, but here's how she's supposed to look when finished. And of course her instructions. So 
So yeah, I'm always on the lookout for these because I think that they're really cool and I would love to have a full set. I used to only have the um, mink and rufa ones and I had a pea one within my grass and I let it go because I didn't understand the nature of the way in which I was bidding at the time. And so someone was able to outbid me at the last moment. But the fact that Pia's mom exists gives me hope that there's actually a bunch of these. And I have two more. These for some reason were much more expensive to buy, especially this one. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure who this company is or what they've done since. Uh, but they did make a mink figure. Let's see, we got a little cute instruction manual. Telling you not only how to put her together, but also how to color in her eyes. And then of course we have the figure itself. Which is mostly complete, honestly. It comes pretty much intact. Looks great though, right? Really good condition. Then the parts that you're supposed to attach come on these little twigs that you're supposed to break off and sand up and then, uh, I don't know if you're supposed to color them beforehand or not, but there's two sets of them in there, as you can see. See, I've only seen this, I've seen pictures of this finished, but I've only seen it up on sale for auction once. And then lastly, there's this one. This is obviously what it's supposed to look like when it's finished, the photos attached. There might even be something underneath, but I haven't tried ripping it off to kind of tell. Get some nice artwork on the side here. Uh, it's from Zero Creative something or other is the company. Easier to tell here, Creative Shopworks, Zero Creative Shopworks. I think this is original artwork that they did for the piece. Got a bit of a comic to explain how to make it happen. Standing on top of Vina, maybe, as a slime. And then another artwork here. But yeah, she doesn't come quite as complete. A little bit more to do here, but she does come with like wings and everything. Here you can see her head in there, which looks cool. Although her forehead isn't complete. <laughs> so that's all the figures that I have, but not all of the physical media that I have. So here I have a Dragon Half pencil. I like the fancy N on there for mink. And it kind of has this, they do this a lot where they like list all the characters like this, the main characters. This nice accented mink with the yellow and the blue outline, it's really cute. It does work, but I don't really have any uh, lead in it. And I really like that it doesn't have a clip that would just like inevitably break off. It's just a straight pencil. And then I have a pencil case. Another victim of overseas shipping, but as you can see the same like M for Ming on here, some nice artwork. Some more nice artwork on the back. As we open it up, we get the similar, you know, listing all the characters and stuff, and then we get this great artwork here. This is awesome. Even listing their parents. And this part lifts down or lifts off rather so that there's more space underneath but as you can see it's a little messed up i've tried to my best to kind of warp it back into place but i don't want to like break it further so i've kind of just left it how it is but this is awesome i mean another item that i've not seen pop up on any auction sites um it was like once in a lifetime sort of thing at least so far it has been i also have this I'm not really sure what you would call it. It's kind of just like a plastic piece of art. I like this M still here though. 
Again, listing all the characters, at least the ones they feel like. <laughs> Mink, the most powerful beauty in history. Hell yeah. This is awesome. I'm not sure, it's not like big enough to be like a, you know, like a card mat or anything. So I'm really not sure what the purpose of this thing was. You know, it's pretty thin. It is plastic. Now this was a fan piece as I dropped the bottom. Uh, this I believe was made by Zambi. And it's a whiteboard you can, you know, write on this on this part and it's just sort of a black background. Um, this piece did break at one point and I had to glue it back together so that it would stay inside of its uh, little stand there, but this is awesome. You don't see too much uh, Dragon Half merchandise like this uh, with the uh, custom fan art and everything. Super cute. Love that stuff. And it just sort of sits there. All right, now I gotta go show you guys the matted artworks that I have. So we'll have to take a trip. So here's the first one. This is the, the one that I had that was also ruined at the time. Uh, but it's matted onto this really nice frame that my dad made for Christmas. Shout outs to my dad. Now we've got this bigger one. As you can see. So these are awesome. I want to get the other ones done pretty much like this as well. And then we've got the cream of the crop, the most rare thing that I have. That is Dragon Half related. This is everybody who worked on the OVAs. They signed this, including Mita, who did the artwork in the middle. I need to get a nicer frame for this, and also it's like, I've got it wrapped in some cellophane and stuff right now, which is, I don't know if that's the greatest as far as preservation goes, um, but I didn't want to like tape it to this frame just directly on the back of the thing. So I've got it up here for now and I really want to put this on my website and like have it so that like it can identify like who each of the, you know, each of the people are. Cause I think that would be really cool. But yeah, that completes my Dragon Half collection. This information should prove useful. <laughs> <laughs>